कर वीडियो ऑफ कर दे तो मेरा सिर्फ ऑडियो रहेगा ना जब मैं बोलूंगा अभी नहीं नहीं वीडियो भी सो वी आर लाइव आई लाइव Hi everyone. I'm Pratik from NSKD Global and today we've brought together a webinar on data analytics and the use of new accounting tools such as QuickBooks and Xero along with data analytics for efficient reporting. With me, I have today our managing partner Nikhil Kumar, who is a certified fraud examiner and a SOX expert. He holds expertise in management consulting, strategic risk advisory and fraud investigation specific to Fortune 500 clients in the US and the UAE. he will be speaking about the challenges that traditional reporting holds in accounting and all the uh, and all the other solutions that we have have to it through analytics uh, analytics and other tools so moving further why first let's get into why we brought together this webinar what we saw was that traditionally all the accountants that are working right now they use traditional tools either sheets or they're maintaining their accounts on some old software through which the reporting is inefficient there are multiple sheets which have to be compiled for management reporting and there are there is no compilation of data in one place that is where quickbooks and zero come into play now what quickbooks and zero offer are is a tool that can that can be used by both accountants and the clients to manage their accounting there is a client end there is a firm end Now, QuickBooks and Zero collate all the data, that's all the financial data of an enterprise, including customers, vendors, expenses, creation of reports like balance sheets and profit and loss, and compile it into one place for easier access. Now, there are multiple challenges that the organizations currently face uh, related to accounting. So, uh, Mr. Nikhil will be speaking more about it. Thank you, Pratik. Thank you so much uh, for your uh, introduction. so we uh, we have like lot of demand for this topic uh, in past that uh, the lot of accountants lot of bookkeepers they are doing just normal accounting on uh, quickbooks and since uh, there is a new uh, concept of data analytics or uh, real time visual dashboards uh, which which have a tools like tableau power bi so we we thought just to uh, collaborate these two topics of uh, traditional reporting in tabular uh, format as well as using the data analytics to bring more insights to the client's need so uh, let's let's start from the uh, from the benefits like what what benefit a client have or what benefits the customer have like uh, in terms of getting this uh, uh, real time dashboards with uh, integrating them with the uh, accounting softwares uh, like quickbooks or the zero so uh, it is just the dashboards uh, is they are just a blend of uh, it being blend of the operational performance as well as the uh, financial performance so they can bring 
they can compile uh, both data in terms of financials from the from the quickbooks or the accounting softwares or from the third party softwares which includes the operational data so we we came across a lot of challenges while uh, doing the uh, accounting bookkeeping and while uh, preparing the mis for the management for a higher management wherein we generally use spreadsheets so spreadsheets is typically is something which is very much prone to data security and wherein the uh, the reporting at the level of higher management sometimes get delayed and uh, sometimes it's not accurate or sometimes it gets uh, first in between and uh, there is no clear reporting in terms of uh, what's going on in the organization so this data analytic tool something brings uh, a lot of value in terms of avoiding the spreadsheets and uh, bringing a real time dashboards along with the uh, the softwares along with the uh, read only access and we can distribute these type of dashboards between our teams our departments as per their roles and as per their responsibilities and the best part of this uh, so the softwares is that they it brings uh, uh, group reporting also since we not notice that the like, single company single group have multiple companies and uh, where they have a multiple companies the reporting group reporting becomes mandatory as per the international standards so in terms of inter, uh, group reporting these uh, data analytics and uh, softwares can bring a lot of value in terms of group reporting and and can can give a quick gist to the higher management that what is their earning or what is their profitability at a overall group level so uh, moving on to the drawbacks uh, that why why this tabular reporting uh, is not that much uh, future futuristic and why there is a need of bringing up uh, the uh, data analytics and the performance dashboards so one for first uh, first main uh, the drawback is that top decision makers like uh, the management and higher management they don't have very quick access to the reports they they have to rely on multiple teams they have to rely on multiple people to get a real time reporting or to get a uh, month end reporting to get their performances and all but as as you bring in data analytics or these type of dashboards or these type of tools the management re reduces the uh, dependency on their team members they they can set up the initial uh, integration and they can do their backup codings and all and they can bring the data in front of uh, everyone which is real time and it's just if you compare the uh, uh, tabular reportings in quickbooks uh, it's very very stand alone like it's it doesn't talk to the other systems or it doesn't give you much insights let's say an example if we, i i need to see uh, the sales uh, over the period of time or i need to see the sales trends i need to see how much sales i did in the location in particular location how much product how much category of product i have and what is their sales in particular region these type of data generally uh, this quickbooks will not report but bringing data analytics and bringing power bi i be bringing other presentation tools they can help management to compile all these data across multiple systems like their crm systems like their google analytics their marketing systems their it systems their accounting system so this is the uh, much much uh, benefit of bringing the data analytics into the uh, uh, into the picture and it's always uh, like uh, better to have uh, four or five dashboards rather than bringing uh, like excel spreadsheets uh, 15 20 spreadsheets because it saves a lot of time for the management to review and to review the mis reporting to review everything in terms of uh, performances and all so we so we see across uh, multiple multiple uh, uh, benefits uh, like uh, like in terms of say a drawback uh, like quickbooks doesn't offer uh, or the accounting software like zero does doesn't offer uh, uh, ratios calculations like profitability ratio or leverage ratio turnover ratio and different type of ratios which which is another big problem for a higher management to gain access to these type of ratio over the continuous period of time wherein we we bring in uh, data analytics and we can uh, play with the data whatever is in system whatever in the account and can showcase management that a dashboard which we will uh, display in the later uh, part of this webinar where the management can see all their uh, performance ratios all their performance metrics at just one place and which really help management to bring all the stuff done really quick the other drawback is like oh, as i explained the uh, the spreadsheets uh, because earlier the tabular reporting and the quickbooks reporting they all 
are either a PDF based or they all are Excel Excel spreadsheets, which is not a not a correct format of uh, reporting. Obviously, these are required for auditing purpose. But if we mix up the financial performance with the operational performance and for the higher management as a good success rate, so bringing these data analytics tool can really help management for uh, for improving their reportings. Now, Pratik will Pratik will just introduce about some of the. Uh, some of the uh, dashboards I think, and you can, you can also explain some of the dashboards right okay so moving on Nikhil sir could you just allow me to share my screen I'll start with the yeah start with the dashboard of ratio analysis itself I hope my screen is visible now yeah so yeah so as you can see everyone uh, we have this dashboard specifically for ratio analysis, as Nikhil sir mentioned uh, right away. So this kind of feature is not available in any accounting tool right now. What we do is we have different kinds of all the metrics. We all, I'm pretty sure everyone is, uh, everyone knows what metrics are used in every dashboard. Uh, this profitability ratios we have. We have figures as on date, like expenses on the specific date that we have. Uh, the sales, the net profit, the gross profit. Now, the best part about this dashboard is that the data is real time from the data set that we have connected it to. Now, if I change the date slicer, say I want to see the data till 27th of uh, September, all of this data changes as you can see on the screen. Another good part is if I click on any one, all of the data relevant to it gets refreshed. We have inventory turnover ratios in real time and also for a specific timeline. We have gross profit margins, net profit margin, return on assets. Now, the thing is that currently this data, as we have prepared our dashboards, this is uh, client data is sensitive. Therefore, we have created dashboards out of sample data. So uh, when we in in include KPIs into a dashboard, there's always a discussion with the top management. These, this is just a sample that what all we can do and how we can play with dashboards. Nikhil, sir, would you like to take on a marketing dashboard? Oh, and explain. Yeah. yeah. So just uh, bring up the marketing dashboards. So as I mentioned earlier, so these are the sample dashboards which we uh, we just uh, bring out of the of the data from the client different systems. So as he, as you see that if if a client wants to know that uh, what is the ROI of its marketing spend, not just reporting just beyond the numbers like giving the marketing total amount that okay we have spent five percent of our total budget in the marketing, but what is happening right whether the, we are spending on the right platforms or not. So that type of questions uh, we can get by combining all the systems and then bringing data analytics into the picture. So here I can like we can see that we have a clear uh, set of uh, performance parameters defined that what all are our sources where where we get the uh, conversions where we we are spending our money. What are the sales uh, from each source and these data are real time. If you can see the slicers on on the top of the of this dashboard, that we can just change the dates. We can know that what is the average uh, click uh, cost per click. We can also see what is the revenue per customer. We can see if we need to uh, know that what is the performance of our campaigns, whatever we are spending money. So we can easily identify that how many visitors are there on on our website. We can see what are the impressions on our website. We can see how many emails we have sent to our uh, prospective clients, how much is the email open rate, how much is our followers, how many followers we gain out of this. So this is this is just uh, a fantastic reporting wherein we are not just not focusing on just numbers. We are just moving beyond the numbers and making management a more uh, like uh, uh, with the with, uh, more giving them more handy tool wherein they can play with everything and they can bring real time results and they can bring uh, predictive results also and they can they can do predictions that where they need to spend their money and where they get get maximum benefit we can also discuss with you in in later uh, some of our customer uh, success stories wherein uh, wherein we implemented the um, Power BI and we integrated all their CRM systems and all their uh, financial systems and uh, we saw there is a short like a very quick improve in the decision making and gradually we, we also saw there is increase in profitability 
Right. So these are the tools which really help uh, management to integrate all the systems at one place. Right. Also, Mr. Nikhil, uh, I would like to know about some of the issues that companies face in collections and uh, managing their accounts or receivables in general. So I would be opening a dashboard along with it. Could you just explain all the challenges and how it provides a solution to them? The, uh, Pratik, these type of reports are also uh, like if I say that uh, tabular reports, like we can get these reports like aging receivables and uh, yes. We can get top uh, customers where tendency is there from QuickBooks. But the, the addition here is like we can have a quick picture. Like here, if you can see of an account receivable dashboards, we can easily uh, select period from the top, right? Where for which we need to see the data. We can we can see data client wise. If suppose if I need to see for X client that how many sales we have done, how many sales are pending, how many collections are pending. We can how what is the data turnover ratio for that particular client? So what is the average due? What is the total due for that particular client? We can see all this at one single dashboard. So if you see the sales trend also, that what is the outstanding trend? Why the sales outstanding is moving up in particular period? And we can also see if the some money is not coming up or there is a huge uh, block of money in particular uh, age bracket like 31 to 60 days. We can see what is the reason for uh, for not making the payments what are the reasons we can highlight those reasons and we can also present what is the average collection period and what is the percentage of uh, risk factors wherein we can see the bad debt so these type of reportings uh, are really very customized uh, it's totally depend on the organization objective and yes. it's always uh, very uh, we can play with the with the data with the multiple systems and right. really help in long term for making quick decision makings. Yes, and specifically, I would just like to point out that this average risk factor of customers and the reasons of cancellation for uh, orders or say invoices. So I think this is something where the qualitative factor is also factored into the dashboard because these are the things that we don't usually find out out of even sheet data or anywhere where the data is stored. Now say there is there are 18 invoices which, which have been returned. So you're tracking your own employees' performance, the staff's performance. That okay, th these were the reasons and some, something the staff did. Maybe they mentioned the wrong item. Maybe the tax rate was incorrect, billing amount. There could be a number of reasons. So you can list them all and find out like what were the reasons of this and correct them. So uh, uh, we have uh, Pratik Kashif also with us. So okay. He, he is uh, he's heading the uh, internal audit group and uh, having a lot of experience uh, in terms of client or a consulting uh, field, right? So Kashif, just uh, you can you can introduce yourself and you can also throw us some light on uh, on the UAE market that how the reporting perspective is changing down the line the people are not dependent on spreadsheet reporting or tabular reporting how they are shifting to these type of reporting uh good evening nikhil uh good evening uh all the participants pratik everybody uh thanks a lot for uh i think there is some uh, some technical issue yes So great, Pratik. So uh, let the, let Kashif uh, join back. In the meanwhile, uh, we can take the next topic. All right. Uh, so I think let's move on to the process because I think that's very important for any organization to understand how we implement all of this. Hmm. So I think the uh, what the what any anyone who's watching this presentation needs to understand is first of all data analytics. As at, as complex as it sounds, it's not that complex for specifically for the clients or for the organization that's implementing data analytics. If you have the right person to do the job. Now I'll explain the stepwise process that we uh, happen to have and where, what are the challenges or some things that we face usually in an organization. Yeah. So first process that we take while implementing any data analytics solution or any visualization is we create SOPs and um, checklists or where formats where the data will be stored, right? Luckily, in this case, where we have Zero and QuickBooks, we already have that because the client inputs his data and we have all that data access right from the back end to the front end on our dashboards. There is no nothing in the middle, no security concerns, nothing. So SOPs are for correct process. Who will handle what? There are There's distribution of duties, segregation, and there are a number of controls that are placed in it so that the collection, uh, so that the cleansing part is easier. Moving on, 
we uh, we go to the data cleaning part now all the data that has been collected now there are so many such important information that we have that we have to segregate it because the data set is too huge and we have to implement it in a way that we have only specific kpis to show then after the cleaning after our analyst does the data cleaning we move on to the kpis deciding the kpis and kras now for the kpis and kras as i mentioned before we sit with the uh, with the top management we understand their needs we put in some of our uh, own some of our own kpis which we think would be important for the uh, for the top management to uh, streamline reporting and then we jot it down on a paper or on a sheet and then we start our work on the visualization the last part is the visualization after connection of data now like quickbooks zero there are other softwares maybe you have your data on um, ms access maybe it's an sql server odbc server any other kind of accounting tool that uh, an organization is using now it's surprising to know that power bi specifically talking about this microsoft tool there are other others also but power bi connects to more than more than 70 to 80 sources now that is something to say because any product that you're using be it a crm an accounting tool some marketing tool everything your ad campaigns everything connects into one place and we have we can combine inter interdepartmental data now lastly visualization now i think this is more better explained when i was uh, presenting the dashboards it is such beautiful visualization that you cannot get this in sheets you cannot handle two sheets in front of you and get this this kind of information qualitative data like i said reasons for cancellation of invoices all of this is not possible uh, through uh, spreadsheet reporting great perfect perfect pratik i think uh, that's something the entire process which uh, every organization should follow uh, that's a standard process and uh, as you mentioned that uh, first we need to uh, think about the kpis right and then right. we need to about what what uh, performance indicators we need to represent and then then uh, cleaning the data and all these steps bring up the uh, system where we can uh, have these type of visual dashboards i think uh, kashiv is also back now uh, so i think it's since this technology uh, uh, remote uh, so there is some connectivity issues as always so kashiv uh, has joined back again so kashiv uh, i just like to uh, just add some couple of uh, your uh, uh, points also yes yeah, sir sure. uh, in fact uh, uh, as far as the uh, erp or accounting systems utilization and uh, adoption is concerned uh, middle east or uae in specific has been at the forefront uh, and considering that uh, a lot of uh, mncs are set up there are a lot of free zones and there's a lot of interest from global investors also so there is a very high need for uh, specialized systems and to ensure that uh, the transactions are accounted in a proper way and they are being reflected in a visualized dashboard which uh, you have been talking about and in fact power bi is something which is uh, cost uh, efficient cheaper to use and uh, gives a very good stream or good visualization or data visualization which helps a lot of businesses a lot of management uh, specifically higher management to uh, to come in and see and one point itself or either in the morning or in the evening at all point of time or from whenever they are wherever whenever or wherever they are to access those data data uh, points or data visualization tools and to see their data and to see understand where their uh, uh, company is going so kashif like uh, as you have more experience in for the uae market so what is your uh, like uh, opinion in terms of that the reporting is moving towards uh, these dashboards real time dashboards or people are still following the old uh, tabular reporting or they just eager to know that what type of dashboard these are or they have very less knowledge how to uh, like uh, start with these type of projects so what is your take on this uh, i would say the awareness level is increasing a lot uh, uh, you know there is a two streams of thought one is a family business one is a multinational but in the family businesses itself they are adopting too freq too highly of these uh, visualization dashboards and they want real time info coming in so mm. the younger generation which is there is very much hooked on to you know mm. what are the uh, what are the data what is what is the data talking to us about 
you know mm. what is happening mm. in in real time in our company uh, or in our mm. business it's uh, very much a, a need of the day to day anywhere mm. in in especially in uae also right right so it's just like uh, as you mentioned like uh, we mentioned that any data anywhere any time right so you can have all these thing in your mobile phone also like right? the management don't oh, have yes. to depend on anyone right they can just open their uh, their ipads their mobile phones and they can just quickly review their financial performance right rather than relying on the excel spreadsheets yes uh, the data cleaning i uh, mentioned like the data cleaning is very important so that the data coming from the erp system or the accounting system if it's a clean data mm-hmm. it's in a presentable data then the visualization tool also will be able to pick it up much faster so that process itself might take some time but then once it's done then it's a ongoing process so there is no breakdown so like for uh, for the cleaning the data right so basically uh, you mean to say that the organization have to set their internal process their structures their sops right or their formats or their reporting formats so that they can capture the information in the right way so that it can be represented in the right way so if we we put garbage in it will be garbage out garbage right out. so that okay. that's something important right so first the management has to take call that whether they want to uh, lay down structures and policies formats in place and then they gradually move on to these type of reporting sop is a beginning from where you understand how the processes run and they are documented and the data visualization tool is the end so this is a total end to end process from where we see and this is what we've been trying to get into for the higher management also and this is what i've been striving for striving for the past 15 years 10 years 15 years i've been over here mm-hmm. and the management is really taking it up to it perfect so how like what is your opinion like what is your take should uh, should as your experience in 15 more than 15 years so uh, what you want to uh, like convey message to our clients so they should move on to these type of reporting from yes, the uae first market. have your documentation cleared out your sop cleared out and then the, that sop itself once it's in a clear format it's in a understandable format itself will lead you to that particular to the to the software so the necessary technologies mm-hmm. just bringing in technologies will not help so first we need mm-hmm. to identify what are the sops required what are the sops of our processes mm. documented then it will go to the next stage of identifying the necessary systems mm. and because there are 300 systems available choose getting the right system we need to know what is more suitable for our business so mm. and there are some systems which are available for cheap uh, and which are highly efficient also like power bi so mm. that mm. should uh, deliver what are the requirements of the management is or perfect. the business owners are perfect great great kashif thank you thank okay. you so much for thank your you. insight yeah thank you thank you yeah so right. pratik also as uh, uh, as mr kashif uh, mentioned that it's a great value for the management and there's great improvement that lies ahead if you move ahead with this project so we will just throw some light on any any client that we have served who has you know benefited from the same any success story like you were talking about yeah so uh, pratik like we can share a success story of our our clients so wherein uh, they were struggling uh, with the type of reporting like to so the small organizations and the medium organizations like the big organization they always have a resources in their hands and they can they can pull out they can make budgets and they can spend any amount of money right but if i talk about from the perspective of the small and medium organizations right so in that perspective if you say uh, they have very less amount of money right with them so they are always keen to expand their operations and along with that they also keen that how much they can track their performance so like as as i mentioned there are a lot of success stories so it help our one of the clients so if i talk about their advantages it help them to uh, make quickly and uh, timely decisions which help them to save cost right which help them to launch their product timely which help them to make cost controls possible right so they also like previously the, uh, the 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 ceo he also has to depend on the team members and for their monthly closing and uh, for their quarterly closing but now after implementing uh, this power bi or the visual dashboards now like he is always open with these type of dashboard and he doesn't need any type of dependency on his team obviously he he have the responsibilities and he have to ask the team members but now the reporting is absolutely automated right it doesn't 
have to be focused on the spreadsheets and all those things so majorly in one of our clients we observe that they they struck with the collections right they they struck with the the payments and the collections wherein it's impacting during this covid time where is there are less number of collections coming in and less number of follows follow up being done all the follow up being done through manually right so after bringing these data analytics tool and uh, machine learning tools so these dashboard tools now the collection has increased up to the 40% right which yeah. is really really uh, helpful to client uh, especially if i talk about the small and medium organization and in terms of these uh, time in in pandemic yes. time right yes. so there are couple of other benefits like uh, if if uh, one of the clients they they have to like uh, launch their product in mm-hmm. in the us market but they are not sure that uh, what should be the marketing spend what, what should be the uh, marketing strategies right and uh, what they have done in the past like whether their mm-hmm. earlier launch was successful or not yes. so using this all data insights so they are really uh, being into the that uh, stage where they can make quick decisions that what is the customer feedback and whether they have to launch what what customization they have to do in specific market if i talk about the us market or the international market right so there are a lot of benefits a lot of uh, success stories a lot of things which uh, i can keep on saying and i can i can repeat probably we should keep some of the success stories for our next session too right so but lastly i want just to uh, mention one uh, one very important uh, point about the construction industry which is really very uh, like big industries in the us and the uae market and they really find it very hard in uh, uh, in monitoring their job status right in monitoring what is going on their job in managing their inventories so these type of reporting is they are using the old uh, fashion softwares like mm-hmm. so managing the entire organization is not possible on these type of uh, old tabular reportings and all so we mm-hmm. we club all their their softwares and we give them a brief quick five dashboards where they can track their uh, job status as well as their inventory status and they can plan their procurement strategies yes. so also I mean, that's like two more two more points that i would like to add in first is uh, the one that you mentioned where uh, the company wants to enter a market and then don't know how much to spend what is the estimate and the second one for job management i think a very key challenge in both of them is estimation of cost mm-hmm. right so through power bi now this is again a very fascinating thing about the same we can create queries use prediction models and input data in such a way that you can estimate the exact costs or a, a very near to exact costs of what the whole amount is going to be how much a job is going to cost monitoring is one part but here estimation is another you need it before going venturing into any market uh, going for any job you have a preset a predefined uh, criteria and through machine learning models it learns itself and you get the estimated cost and mm-hmm. secondly uh, my closing remarks would be that power bi as a tool as we have implemented it in many organizations it becomes a friend of the management now i've seen my personal experience has been that the ceos the ctos they have one tab in their chrome browser or safari browser open constantly and that is of power bi so whenever they need to know anything about their business something is someone reports something no mis reporting nothing they quickly go to the that tab open the dashboard and there it is all the real time data refreshed at the moment of the click yeah perfect yeah pratik you you mentioned really a uh, good point uh, about uh, the that it's a, it's a, a very a good friend of uh, the the top management right and uh, i can see that in in near future since the the job of uh, the cfo is just not up to the uh, compliance reporting or not up to the performance reporting right not just uh, maintaining the tabular uh, reporting and all they have to learn these type of skills and they have to uh, really put their stress on these type of reportings because if they invest now probably they can be at a good stage down the line one year or two years right right great uh, so i think uh, this is this would be a wrap for uh, this series of our webinar uh, quickbooks in zero along with data analytics we'd be coming up with a lot of other webinars on different topics as uh, as our clients and as our followers demand so please follow on uh, all uh, the link will be provided and the video of this webinar will be provided on link our linkedin page itself so um, great pratik so we have uh, i think covered up most of the 
questions and this is a Q&A session, right? So we, we have covered a lot of uh, questions from our audience also. Yes. So in case, uh, in case if something is left out, do just stay tuned to our, uh, our uh, LinkedIn page or a LinkedIn group, NSKD Global. And uh, you can just uh, like put all the remarks there or you can just raise your queries and our team will uh, definitely get back. And if you need any face to face or any consultation, uh, then just do visit our uh, website and then just you can break, bring, you can just uh, make your uh, like uh, uh, appointment done and so that we our team can give you a quick free 20 minute session or 30 minute session just to understand how it can help in your organization. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah.